Warning, 2022 will be filled with turmoil, sorrow, and lost hope. I should have made that prediction last December, but was holding out hope for a better year coming out of two years of the Voldemort virus. But then Russia invaded Ukraine, and another strain of the virus that shall not be named is sweeping across the globe. And now turmoil, sorrow, and lost hope are everywhere. And since this is an election year, we're going to be inundated with campaign speeches and commercials telling us this politician and party has the answers to the problems caused by that politician and party. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that in 2024, we'll be inundated with more of the same, despite who is elected this year. So let's be honest about it, especially in today's climate of, if you don't agree with me, you're evil mindset. No elected leader, liberal or conservative, can solve the world's deep-seated problem of sin. Now, that doesn't mean some can't make it worse by pure incompetence and irrational thinking, but that's a political debate, which I refuse to join because ultimately, politics and politicians fail since they can't fix us humans. Only God can do that. Which is why I'm going to continue working on my not always successful news media and political discussion boycott and listen to the advice of Elisha, who was calm while surrounded by an army of angry Syrians. Syria was attacking Israel and God kept revealing its plans to Elisha, who warned Israel's king. When the Syrian king found out it was God's prophet Elisha, who tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom, he sent an army to take him. And they came by night and surrounded the city. 2 Kings 6, verses 8 through 14. That morning, Elisha's servant looked outside, and seeing the army, he panicked and exclaimed, Oh no, my lord, what shall we do? Verse 15. But Elisha didn't even blink. He knew what we need to remember. Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. He then asked God to open the servant's eyes to see the chariots of fire protecting them. 2 Kings 6, verses 16 and 17. Ladies and gentlemen, instead of being filled with turmoil, sorrow, and lost hope, let's remember whom we serve. Let's lose the fear that causes unnecessary panic and find peace, joy, and hope in Jesus. The kingdoms of this world come and go. The fortunes of this earth rise and fall. So quit trying to hang on to them as if they can save us. Only those who wait on the Lord will be saved. Oh, and quit drinking from the poisonous well of the news media. They thrive on your turmoil, sorrow, and lost hope. Thank you for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible and American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.